Good evening, everyone. Uh, currently, energy consumption grows more and more uh, concern, especially in my country, Japan. Large scale power saving imperative after a nuclear accident at Fukushima because all nuclear plants are suspended for check now. So, we, we should manage our electric consumption for large scale power saving. Therefore, it needs low cost and easy to use uh, current sensors. So today we will show you about the uh, Nobel film based flexible crampon type current sensor for electricity monitoring. Uh, in our laboratory, we are just trying the green sensor uh, network system technology development project. In, in this project, we are developing an um, in innovative sensor systems with wireless standalone and low power consumption functions. And our group is developing a novel flexible current sensor for electricity monitoring. Uh, there's a, a commercial crampon type AC current sensors. Uh, these sensors are sufficiently small in normal use, but it is difficult to attach these two highly dense electro electric cables in switchboard uh, because they, these are three-dimensional structure. So, we felt in need of a Nobel flexible current sensor, uh, which is completely different from previous sensors. Uh, these, are, uh, uh, th th these are the uh, development goals of a Nobel sensor. Uh, so we propose a thin film based crampon type uh, current sensor. The sensor is uh, composed of magnetic uh, core film, insulator film, and flexible coil structure. Uh, this is the detailed fabrication process for the flexible current sensor. We prepare a 20 micrometer thick permaloy film as magnet magnetic core. And 25 micrometer thick uh, polyimide film is coated by thermal compression, compression bonding on both sides of the magnetic core. Then we made uh, nine, 960 through holes, uh, six, uh, 60 micrometer in diameter within polymer film. In this study, we use two process technologies. Uh, one is laser drilling, and another one is a mechanical drilling. Uh, in both methods, uh, processing speed is about one half minutes for one substrate. So it is a very rapid uh, process. Uh, then the through holes filling with silver paste by screen printing technology. Uh, we successfully filled with silver paste into the 960 through holes in only single uh, screen printing process. Uh, processing speed of single screen printing is about uh, 10, sec 10 seconds. So it's also very rapid process. Uh, this, this, figure, this figure shows a, a cross-section view of uh, through holes filling with silver paste. Uh, it is confirmed that the through hole is uh, filled by silver paste completely. Then silver paste lines were, were printed by uh, screen printer. This is a, a processed sample picture. We successfully prevent, con, uh, contact, contact, prevent contact between adjacent lines by the use of high, high viscosity silver paste. And alignment between through holes and lines is very good. Finally, epoxy layer was also coated by screen printer. Uh, this is an actual 
actually develop, develop the sensors. It has very high flexibility and easy to use. Uh, the, and the sensor was develop, developed uh, using just only through holes drawing and screen printing technologies. We wrapped the developed sensor around, the, around an uh, electrical cable and measured out voltage generated in the coil by the behave behavior of current transformer. This chart shows the me measured output, output voltage as a function of current flows, uh, flowing through, through the electric cable. The output voltage changes linear, linearly, linearly with a variation of the value of current in the 0 to 100 ampere range. So the result indicates the practical, practical applicability of the current sensor for electrical cables. Next, we connected the developed sensor to a batteryless wireless node. The node can drive by utilizing the secondary current generated in the coil of the sensor by the behavior of uh, current transformer. We wrapped the sensor around an electric, electrical cable and measured the voltage of a chip capacitor in the wireless node. This chart, this chart shows the voltage of the uh, chip capacitor as a function of time. The nodes, the node transmit data using the power, uh, power charged in the capacitor every time when the power is uh, charged enough for wireless transmission. The charged power is consumed then the voltage of the capacitor dropped to the minimum voltage. The time intervals between the transmissions are, depend on the current flow flowing through an electrical, uh, electrical cable. So therefore, the current value can be deduced by measuring the transmission uh, intervals. At the case uh, that current flowing through the cable was uh, 65 ampere and 50 hertz. The power is charged stable in the uh, capacitor with the current transformer from the cable. And we successfully uh, received the data from uh, the wireless node on a laptop PC uh, connected a receiver a few meters away from the sensor and developed real-time visualization of the uh, current value uh, flowing through the electrical cable. Okay, in su summary, uh, a novel thin film-based flexible current clamp sensor for wireless uh, sensor networks was developed, and uh, there is detailed re results. Uh, this work was conducted as one of the uh, new energy and industrial technology development organization project, Green Sensor Network System Technology Development Project. Thank you for your kind attention.